Okay, here at PT Precision today, we've got a Suzuki Swift in here. It's got a P0420 code, a Cadillac system below threshold. So these have got a O2 sensor before and after the cat. Um, basically, we've we're now gone away from a single probe scope, which I was using. I've used it for 30 years. Got the new um, Pico scope. Been holding off getting this, but you can. That's a single channel. The Pico you can do four up to five channels at once on a screen. So we've got the TV on and stuff. So you can see this one here. We've got the back probe in the front and the rear sensor. Um, you can clearly see that the catalytic converter is not working properly. So the rear O2, the rear sensor is actually showing a waveform pattern. So it's got um, emissions going past that catalytic converter. Um, so we thought we might just show you a bad pattern, and then we're going to replace. This is part of the manifold. This one, so we're going to replace the whole manifold. We have had a look inside. Um, there's no physical damage done to the catalytic converter at all. It looks normal. It looks okay. But they have been using E10 in this car for quite some time. This code has come on constantly. Never gone out. The O2 sensors are working correctly as they should be, although they've got that white coating over the top of them from the what we say is, is the E10. But we're going to change the exhaust manifold, so the catalytic converter out, and we'll show you this bad one. We'll show you the good one. So we've got it up to temperature. It's about nearly 200 degrees while when it's running. So you can see. Our okay, car's up and running. Um, see, the blue line is the front O2 sensor. So between 0 volt and 1 volt. And the rear sensor should be up to 0.1 of a volt. So it should be a flat line. So it's following the same curve as the front O2 sensor. So we're actually reading the fuel going past the catalytic converter. We just had the actual new exhaust running, so the new exhaust turned up. So the, 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 the uh, rear O2 sensor is back here on the manifold, so obviously it comes complete manifold. We've had this off. It looks bloody brand new inside. So obviously, I would say using E10, has caused this to fail. The platinum in here or whatever they use inside these catalytic converters is, is not working correctly. So you're still getting a reading. And here you've got two signals. So it's quite clear, like I used to use this. You go to the front and you have to unplug it and plug into the back one and recheck it. I mean, it works well, but it's very slow. You know, this is live data, basically. This is the car running, switching in and out. Between zero and one volt. You can see that front and the rear one shouldn't be working. The car's at temperature as well, so that's another thing. You should have, have it up at temperature also. Make sure it's, I mean, this is clearly not working. It's a very clear result. We've actually got to work out how to filter these little lines out and try and get more of a direct line. Um, but anyway, just thought we'd show you that. We'll show you once we put the new exhaust on. We'll show how it should look. All right, so we fitted the new manifold, the exhaust manifold with the um, catalytic converter in it. Doesn't appear to be anything wrong with this catalytic converter, although it's not working. And the top of it all looks in part in, in fine condition to the eye. But obviously as you saw with the waveform patterns, it wasn't working. So we just fitted it, we just quickly run it. It's still cold. But it's on uh, uh, 60 degrees, call it, you know. So. Anyway, we'll start it up and show you the new if I can go. Alright, so the, the exhaust is on about 80 degrees. 80 degrees. You can see the, that the blue line's the, the front O2 sensor the, and the red line's the rear sensor. So before we had a pattern of both basically following each other, so the, exhaust, the rear one was following um, the front pattern, meaning there was um, exhaust emissions going past the, the catalytic converter. Now as you see, we've got obviously no 
all the, the catalytic converters actually working. It's at now it's at well, nearly a volt, so 0.8 of a volt or there. So I presume once it starts to get hotter, this red line will come down. I would imagine. So it's only it's only on. It's on 90 degrees now. I think it'll be hotter. So with the Pico, I mean, you can see real time, it's a big benefit other than the single handheld scope, which is a little bit slow anyway to react, but I've been, I've been using that for Jesus, close to 30 years, I suppose. So this is a great tool. This is new to us. We've been holding out getting because it's quite an expensive outlay here in Australia for this stuff. But anyway, I mean, let's fix this. We'll let it run. I'm not going to bore you with it just running. Take some more photos, I suppose, once it gets hot. It should change. Okay, so we've um, taken the car for a drive. Got it hot. Brought it back in. Left it running. Probed it again. So it all seems to be good. Like, good waveform. Still a good signal coming out of the O2 sensor, the front one, and the, the rear sensor. Nice flat line. It's not reading it. Basically, like what it was before, it was following this blue line before the red one was. So that's the one, this is the one after the catalytic converter. It's running a little bit rich. Not nothing bad though, but I reckon that's it. I that's, that's a good looking sensor. I, I don't think this P0420 code should come on anymore. It's a clear and definite result from before and after. Uh, obviously that catalytic converter wasn't working correctly. I've, I've had this code a few times on a few cars, particularly Subarus, but um, there you go. Done. What do you reckon?